Hey you guys, Super Japanama here, and today I'll be showing you my very small but modest uh, Pokemon uh, plush collection. Now, I don't really go after um, Pokemon stuff in general. Um, as you know, if you watch my channel on a regular basis, I uh, mainly collect Sonic the Hedgehog and memorabilia and different types of merchandise. But um, during my journeys and uh, travels across the world, thankfully not recently because of the outbreak of the coronavirus, and uh, before we get into this uh, plush collection video, I just want to uh, give a little message out there to people around the world even watching my video. I wish you well, I wish you uh, stay safe in, uh, in your houses and whatnot, in your homes. Um, and just uh, just trying to work together and uh, tackle this problem, you know, quick as possible, so we can just uh, go about our daily lives once again. But at the moment, it's looking quite uh, quite grim. But um, since I, you know, I'm still working at the moment, so it's uh, getting a bit more awkward for me to get to work because with the public transport kind of being a bit more um, less frequent, as you can say, but. Uh, I'm slowly but surely realising that this uh, country in the UK is uh, shutting down. Uh, but yeah, we can only do what we can do, right? We just gotta try and survive. Anyway, enough of, enough of this negativity about this uh, coronavirus and uh, COVID-19. Let's continue with the video. Um, gonna try and entertain you guys today, whether it be my personality that makes you laugh or what I review, your choice. But um, I bought these guys out in New York. I went there last year in November. Um, I visited the Nintendo store in uh, New York, so uh, yeah, I just uh, I love the quality of these plushies. They they really stood out to me when I was walking around the store, and I just had to pick them up. I had a bit of spending money to uh, splash out on at the time, and uh, I decided to buy a few Pokemon plushies, which I will show you as we go along in this video. So uh, as you can see in front of you here, we have the first gen uh, starter Pokemon. If you uh, been living under a rock, and you don't know their names, I will tell you. This is Charmander, Bulbasaur, and uh, my favourite is Squirtle. Um, I will show you individually what they are like. I'm not, I'm not doing a review on these guys. I'm just showing you in general what these uh, what these plushies are like and the quality. They're quite well designed and quite well manufactured. Um, it says on here these are from the Pokemon Center, but I actually got these from the Nintendo Store. So maybe they got them from the uh, Pokemon Store in Japan or whatnot, and you know. But yeah, the stitching on these, the quality, the stuffing is all fantastic. I love the effect of the flame on Charmander's tail here. And uh, yeah, they cost me $15 each. And uh, with tax, I believe that's like $20 each or something like that. I don't know. Um, I had to pay a lot of taxes out in the US when I was there. So yeah, these are really awesome plushies. If you can get hold of these, I do recommend you if you're a Pokemon fan. They're well, well manufactured. Company... Uh, Pokemon Center. You can only get these from the Pokemon Center, but these are sold online quite frequently, so it's not really uh, kind of hard to get hold of. So let's get rid of Charmander. And we have Bulbasaur. Again, well made. We have uh, they've made felt here, little felt um, claws or whatnot, nails for Bulbasaur's feet, which are pretty cool. Nice little touch. Um, yeah, I love the uh, detail they've gone here, the stitching and whatnot. Really great plushes. I think the stitch work is really great. They've really embroidered it quite well and they've made the DR so, so vigorous here on the uh, outline, the stitching. But yeah, again, another great plush. Won't spend too long on each plushies because I've got maybe another five or six more to show you and I want to sort of, uh, I don't want to drag this video on too long. Now, as I uh, just mentioned earlier on in the video, this is my favorite Pokemon. Always has and always will be. I do love Squirtle. War Turtle and uh, Blastoise. Um, I grew up with the first gen Pokemon when I was in school and I intend to keep them my favourite, favourite generation of Pokemon. Again, with this plush, it is a fantastic um, effort and well stitched plush. I love the way they've embroidered there on the shell, these patterns on his shell there, and the old uh, 3D effect at the back. So, yep, yeah, but that is the first gen Pokemon I have. And with the three other plush here, um, we have the uh, current gen uh, starter Pokemon from Pokemon Sword and Shield, which I have uh, I do own as Pokemon Sword. It is a great game. Um, I do prefer the originals, but that's just me. I grew up with the originals. I grew up playing Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Yellow, and Pokemon Red. They were my first Pokemon games. And uh, yeah, I've pretty much played all the Pokemon games up to now. I think I skipped a couple of gens previously, but. Um, I gave this generation a try of Pokemon, it's pretty cool. 
So as you can see in front of you here, I'm sure everyone knows who these are. You've got Groki, Scorbunny, and Sobble. Great plushes, again made by the same company, Pokemon Center, you know, the usual. So let's show you guys these plushes individually once again. Now, my favorite out of these generation Pokemon is got to be Scorbunny. He's the coolest, most energetic Pokemon I've ever, in the, ever seen, uh, portrayed on the screen in games and whatnot. And yeah, once again, they've done a fantastic job portraying the... Uh, characteristics of the plush here really well made plush uh, they've done all proportions correctly stitching's fantastic top notch um, pretty much one of the best made well made manufactured plushes I know out there if you're you know a Pokemon fan or uh, like you know even like a serious fan or even just a general fan I would definitely go after these sort of plushes because they're just so well made and you just get your money's worth basically you don't get ripped off or anything yeah, fantastic plushes. Let's move on to Croakey. Another cool looking Pokemon. Rather unique design. Sort of like a cross between a monkey and a tree and I don't know, God knows what it is there. Personally I think they're running out of ideas, but you know, to each their own opinion. Cute nevertheless though. Very cute. Now that is Grokey. Moving on to Sobble, very sad looking Pokemon, but very unique tadpole looking creature nevertheless, yeah. unique design. Um, to be honest with you, I don't really have a least favourite out of these three, these uh, current gen, they're actually kind of cool in their own individual uniqueness way, you know, just really cool Pokemon. Again, awesome embroidment on the eyes and the stitching, great as usual. Yeah. Right, last but not least, we have these uh, selection of plushes in front of you. Um, now, these are more uh, less uncommon, more rare plushes I'm going to show you guys now individually. Um, some of them I had a hard time acquiring, some of them I got given as gifts, and some of them I bought along my journeys when I visit Japan um, a couple of few years ago, now quite a few years ago. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go through these guys individually, and we are going to, uh, yeah, show you guys what they're all about and whatnot, and they're the unique design. So this is a rather interesting plush, is uh, basically, um, this one, they're all from the Pokemon Center, I believe, um, but they're all different themed Pokemon, so these is obviously, this one here is through Christmas. I'm actually not sure what year this one come out, to be honest with you. Um, these are all exclusive only in Japan. Uh, this it says here 2017, so this must have come out in 2017. Rather unique, weird plush of uh, Pikachu. Sort of uh, the usual traditional holly and uh, ivory leaf version of Pikachu. Maybe like a snowman version. But yeah, rather unique plush. Kind of cool. I do like the uniqueness. I picked it up at a time. I do love the cardboard tag of him. In a variation of how it looks. Uh, like I said, this comes from the Pokemon Center uh, and it's uh, rather unique, so I picked it up at time. Always love uh, Christmas time, that time of year, and um, yeah, so yeah, Snowman Pikachu plush. Um, we have a, another um, Christmas related Pikachu plush, which was really nice. Uh, really, really had to buy this during the time. Uh, this got this during uh, my time in Japan uh, in 2016 and it says an attack here and this was also sold on the uh, Pokemon Center really nice tag there really cool very vibrant colorful uh, patterns on it As you can see there Pikachu's coat or um, what you want to call it fleece it's really cool I do love the uh, Christmassy effects here the snowflake golden snowflakes effects and the jewel in the middle and of course, the usual Pokemon Center fashion, the quality is fantastic, very high quality. And uh, yeah, rather basic plush when it comes to the base of it, but to be honest with you, it is a really nice plush. And um, it's one of the reasons I uh, bought it. Now, it is quite old, you know, 2016, but I, I've noticed that the, the fur, I think it's the design of the, the plush on, on the uh, out of there, but... Maybe it's just designed like that. It's starting to sort of bubble, but I don't know. You know I hate bubbles on here. Can't stand them. But yeah. 
Okay, the next one was a recent gift, I believe, last year. So here's the uh, Sky Tree Tower, I believe, in Tokyo. And uh, you could only buy this in the Pokemon Center in that um, in the shop. Yeah, Sky Tree Tokyo uh, shop, Pokemon Center. So uh, this is a very unique and exclusive item to Tokyo. Um, really nice. Um, I asked my friend to get, well, he actually showed me this during his trip in Japan last year. And, um, you know, he asked if I wanted it. And I said, well, yeah, you know, who doesn't love Japan and the Pokemon? And, and they've just combined together and created Tokyo Tower and Pikachu trying to climb it. And I love the uh, little Pikachu, maybe it's a hat or something on top here, tower. But yeah, a rather unique plush, to say the least, really cool. And uh, yeah, I like to have it in my collection. Love the cardboard tag here. Right, so that's the uh, Sky Tree uh, Tower Pikachu plush. Let's move on to the next one. Next one is a rather little cute Pikachu I picked up in the uh, in Japan. Really cool, this one's got a unique tag here, Pocket Monsters, um, Game Freak and whatnot, so is it, it is official. It's got loads of unique tags and cobble tags, got loads of tags. Nice metal uh, key bit. It's actually essentially a keychain, you know, but yeah, I had to pick him up, he's very cute. Very well made, for his size, and uh, like a teddy bear design if you ask me. But yeah, little Pikachu. And last but not least, this little guy. Now this one has a nice little story behind him. Now, unfortunately, I bought this off eBay because I had no other choice. Um, but this guy, this London City, London City Pikachu UK exclusive Pokemon Center plush is a bugger to get hold of. And I mean a bugger. Um, during the time uh, the Pokemon Center temporarily opened a shop in Westfield in London. And my god, was this guy, um, you know, high on demand for uh, trying to get hold of. And um, he, unfortunately, I did try, I did make a trip to the Pokemon Center in uh, London, but unfortunately, the queue was too long and it was very limited. And hardly anyone who was too late to try and act didn't get this plush. So I had to pay around £60 to buy this plush, which is uh, too much money if you ask me. But um, I managed to get him nevertheless, and uh, yeah. So moving on to the actual plush itself, as you can see, you've got a top hat and coat with a uh, side duck umbrella, and you can see a little Pokeball tie. But yeah, this Pokemon's cool. You know, it's Pikachu, just in the London-style UK look. Um, got the Pokemon uh, Center cardboard tag, Pikachu there, and uh, yeah, just the usual tags normally comes with. But yeah, this guy was a pain in the bum to get hold of, but I'm glad I've got him, and I'm going to keep him. And no, he is not for sale, so don't even ask. Right guys, that is the end of my Pokemon Plush Collection video. Um, I do thank you for watching up to now, if you're still here. Um, I enjoyed doing this video, it's quite interesting. Brought back a lot of memories, getting these plushes. If you have any uh, general questions about this uh, collection here, then feel free to enter comments down below in the video. And uh, yeah, everyone hopefully uh, stay safe and uh, yep, see you guys soon for more videos.